what a holy atmosphere reverential atmosphere presence of God that's here I see God making the crooked places straight right now it has nothing to do with well it does have everything to do with this but the spontaneous here prophetic right now I just see God straightening out crooked places I see God straightening out crooked people and if they, 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 they won't straighten out that he will remove them he will break them in pieces if they refuse to bend to him refuse to bend to his will he's going to break them into pieces he's going to remove them Whew, they're even they're even I see them even being crushed into powder shy and die the, if they won't fall on the rock the rock the rock is falling the head is falling on the church the head which is Jesus Christ is coming upon the church everything is under the head show Rabbi I see crooked places being made straight crooked people being exposed with the opportunity to be made straight but if they refuse he'll break them into pieces he will remove he will remove them he will remove the structure and he will remove even the substance that the structure was built out of sha robo boom de li bo ko bo ra pa 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 he he ha ha i see rivers opening up in the deserts sure i see water flowing where there was not supposed to be any water but God opens it up. God creates a river in the midst of the dry ground. He pours out. He opens the earth and pours out the ancient wells. He unlocks them. He, he releases them. He unlatches them. And they begin. People begin to again draw water out of the wells of salvation. The wells of Yeshua. Salvation in Hebrew is the word Yeshua. They begin to draw the water out of Yeshua. Draw. Draw. If you're thirsty and dry look up to Yeshua because it's beginning to rain he's pouring out the rain the creating desert, rivers and deserts creating streams and dry places bringing life where there was just death creating and rebuilding and reestablishing tearing down, pulling down, plucking up the old things and replacing them restoring, renewing recreating show with the new thing by his spirit who it's by my spirit saith the lord what men have have tried to build me to impress me is nothing compared to what i have already built saith the lord what i have already established ah, i see towers falling I see television towers falling. I see radio towers falling. I see towers, towers falling because they, they have not been broadcasting the right, the gospel, the right gospel. I see towers falling all over, all over the world. I see towers just collapsing under the pressure, under the heat of Almighty God, <laughs> under His hand, toppling towers, even towers that men have built are going to be torn down, are going to fall down to the ground there's only one tower and it's the high tower and his name is Yeshua Hamashiach and we need to run into that tower run into the high tower the high tower of Jesus under the wing of the Almighty I am your high tower I am your high strength saith the Lord run into me I will hide you in the cleft of the rock I will hide you in the midst of the storm. I will put you into that the place of the center of my peace, my shalom, saith the Lord, and you will rest there with me. And out of the rest, resting place, out of the dwelling place, out of the place of my habitation, where you have practiced my habits, saith the Lord, where you have practiced my ways and my words. That's the place where I will bring the great perfection. I will bring the great restoration. I will bring the great restitution. I will bring the great repentance of all things. I will turn these things around in a day, saith the Lord. I am bringing a new day now. It is the new millennium, saith the Lord. Step into this new day and receive grace in your times of need. Because out of the place of resting in me, I will do a work greater than you could ever do for me. 
I will do that work through you. But it will be me that is doing the work. It will be by spirit. It will be my way. It will be my words that work. Sure, when you begin to pray, when you begin to pay, open the mouth and speak and decree, voice my words. When you declare, you establish my ways, my words, my will. Oh. Out of the abundance of your heart, the words will flow like honey, will flow like the honey dew, will flow like the dew that comes upon and waters the dry and thirsty ground, the waters that come out of heaven, the former and the latter rains coming together again. As it was in the first beginning, in the first dominion, in the first creation. Mm. There are secret treasures, there are secret mysteries that have been hidden, hidden just beneath the ground. Just beneath the surface, saith the Lord. There are hidden mysteries. There are treasures hidden in the ground. Just below the surface. Men have tried to cover and tried to throw dirt on them. But the mysteries are still. They still remain in the earth. They still remain where I have planted them. Where I sent them in the beginning, saith the Lord. Where I put them. Where I established them. So just shake off the dust. Remove the dust. Scrape off the dust. Remove the lid. And I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. The great treasures and mysteries that I have hidden from above. That are hidden in the ground below you. Waiting for you to discover them. Like hidden treasures under the sand. Saith the Lord. Of hosts. Wow. I see angels with shovels. They have golden spades in their hand, golden shovels in their hand for digging. And as you begin to search out the hidden things, search out the mysteries of God. It's the glory of God to conceal a matter, it's the glory of kings to search it out. As you begin to search it out, as you begin to go deeper and hunger for more, I see the angels moving quickly, shoveling, 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 uncovering, revealing, moving the dirt out of the way, the filth of the world out of the way, so that His glory, so that His gifts can shine again. But it's going to shine in a new way. It's going to shine with the splendor of heaven. It's going to shine with the glory of the Father. Ha, ha, ha. Not the glory of a man. There's a new day coming where the giftings are going to come again. There's going to be an expansion and expounding of the giftings of the Spirit. But this time, saith the Lord, they will not be abused. They will not be misused. They will not be for your fortune, ha, ha, which would actually be misfortune. But they will be for me, saith the Lord, to bring me honor, to bring me glory, to bring the kingdom on earth as it is in heaven, to reestablish those foundations of old, saith the Lord, because they are still there. They are still there where you are in the earth. Ah, shaka rababate. But you will rise with this with a new level of gifting and understanding and discernment, say the Lord. And you will begin to move in the prophetic like never before. You will begin to see accurately, not just not just see a word, not just see a picture, but to see keenly, to see it in a keen way, in a king's way, in a keenly way. You will see rightly, you will see rightly, and therefore you will speak rightly, saith the Lord. And it will be my words of righteousness that will roll off your tongue like a river. 
They will flow out of you like a river, say the Lord, and they will water the dry and the thirsty ground. There will be great signs, wonders, and miracles done through your tongue, say the Lord, as you speak and decree a thing. It shall happen before your very eyes. It shall be established. It shall be a manifestation of my spirit, say the Lord, but not this time to build up the kingdom of a man or the kingdom of men or the kingdom of this and the kingdom of that of this world but it will be my kingdom that is established because it will be through the hands it will be through the mouth it will be through the eyes it will be through the ears it will be through the heat the feet it will be through the heel it will be through the body of jesus christ saith the lord who decree a thing and it shall be established there's a resurrecting of the giftings of the spirit to build the kingdom the kingdom without end the kingdom without measure the kingdom in fullness righteousness peace and joy the kingdom fit for a king fit for a king of kings the Lord himself shall come down with a shout in the twinkling of an eye in a moment of time he shall come and sit upon his throne his headship shall be established and his kingship shall rule and reign forever and ever and ever 